Hey guys, it's Seth Bollinger. This is going to be my video time frame discussion. So what I have is, um, as I was doing this assignment, I noticed that the major differences between pre and post MTV were that the music that was made before MTV was much more low budget. You know, there was just a little bit of lighting, um, lighting effects, strobe effects, kind of fading in, fading out, different things like that, maybe the costumes. And sometimes they would have maybe one or two venues. So that's kind of what I noticed before MTV. So after MTV appeared to be successful, I think that the artists began to take more risks. Um, they started to make more videos off of their singles. They started to add new special effects. I think the producers got more creative. I think they realized that these were things that a lot of people were enjoying. Um, they were seeing it as entertaining. So they really wanted to get their artists out there. They really wanted to get their labels out there. So the only way to do that was to push it to the next level. And at the same time, technology was booming. So they just jumped on, they just jumped on that train. So they used things like um, computers to um, make different effects, you know, with the green screens. So with that green screen, they were able to make a low budget film look more high quality or even make it look exotic. You know, they could put the artists in different environments. So I think that's pretty cool. So the thing about MTV that kind of st stood out to me was that MTV put so much spotlight on artists and put so much spotlight on on different bands and, and different genres of music that what they started to wear and what they were doing in these videos, all of those things started to become more important to the viewers. And so things like clothes and cars and, you know, where were these videos were filmed, you know, um, all those exotic locations, those places were now being, you know, exploited per se. And Americans and even Europeans and all across the world, people started to take notice in the clothes. And so they wanted to buy what those artists were wearing and they wanted to buy what those artists were driving. And they wanted to go to those places where these, these videos were filmed. So that's kind of what MTV kind of did to the world. But lastly, I don't really watch much music videos, but I do know this. The trend is always gonna be close-ups of the artists, the musicians, uh, maybe live footage of the, the concerts, um, and of course, you know, the glamor that comes with being famous. I think that's always gonna be out there. So, you know, cars, clothes, women, airplanes, yachts, islands, exotic things. Those are always gonna be a part of music videos. Um, and because, not necessarily because people wanna be famous, but because this is what people want. You know, people want to have enough money to do the things that they want to do. And that's what a lot of these musicians portray that they can do. So whether they can or can't, you know, that's that's up for us to decipher. But I do think that these things, you know, these materialistic items, unfortunately, will always be a part of the music videos that we watch. Thanks.